Well, guys, it is a brisk three degrees this morning. Negative 15 degree wind chill factor. And we're gonna see how the old diesel truck starts up. Letting the grid heaters run. The truck was not plugged in, but the grid heaters are running. That's that symbol right there that just went out. bad so a grid heater heats the air coming into the manifold the intake manifold where glow plugs heat the individual air and fuel kind of air and fuel uh in each individual cylinder the the cummins are the cummins engines which are in dodge trucks are are inline six engines so they have six cylinders right in a row where the Power Stroke and Duramax engines are V8 diesels, like what your typical gas engines would be. You'd have four cylinders on this side, and four cylinders on this side. Your Duramaxes and Power Strokes all have glow plugs, and then your Cummins have grid heaters. Not exactly sure why, but my Cummins, at least the years I have, which is, I have 205s and an 06, they, uh, they start very well in the cold. I, I, you, I plug them in if I know it's going to be really cold just to help them out. I didn't last night, but uh, I mean, I've started it down to negative 30 with a wind chill of negative 50 and it fired right up. Now, I'm not going to say it didn't sound like I wanted to throw a rod for the first two, three seconds, but uh, that's pretty cold. All right, we got it back together. Now to just get everything put back on. All right, so we pretty much got the 1206 back together. We tested it last night. Um, everything seemed to work okay. We're good. So we're very happy about that. We just got to put the hoods on now and basically it'll all be done. So we want to, we always, this is what we do. We want, we like to make sure everything's good and right before we put the hoods back on in case we have to do anything else. So that's always the last step for us. So everything's good to go with it. And we got the 806 in here now. So. Got our 806 in, got to split it. Not for a clutch, but it is going to get a clutch. We are splitting it for the fact that we do not have any hydraulic, uh, any hydraulics out the back of the tractor. We do not have any hydraulics on this tractor. So the remotes don't work, the steering doesn't work, the TA doesn't work, the steering doesn't work. I think I already said that. 
Um, the torque is not shifting because there's no hydraulic pressure at all. Well, there is a shaft. Actually, I might have showed this in when I was working on the 1206. But anyways, we replaced this shaft on the 1206 because it was pretty war. And we believe that this is what is stripped in this tractor. So you have to split it. It's right behind the clutch. While we're in there, we're going to put a clutch in it. But we are splitting it because we believe this shaft is stripped. Um, when, you know, if you just lost the remotes, you might think it's something with the main pump or the relief valve or something like that. Or if you lost just the steering, you, it might be something like that. But the fact that we've lost everything has to be that this shaft is not spinning coming off, coming from the front of the tractor to the back. So we are going to split it and uh, see what we find. Hopefully that is the issue, or hopefully we will be able to find the issue um, without any major problems. I'm assuming um, it'll be very evident once we get it opened up, but we shall see. Well, we got a snowstorm coming. Um, not a terrible one, but going to get a decent amount of snow. But thankfully, we have all the equipment tucked away for the year in the barn, especially now with the bad weather coming. Got the new shoes on the dually. Kenda it's something, it's something. They're pretty, pretty deep tread tires, so glad to have them with the snow coming. All right, guys. Well, we got a John Deere 3155 tractor in the shop. Working on for somebody, trying to help them out. And uh, the PTO did not work. So this is your PTO lever right here. You have to pull out and up. And that is how you engage it. How it works is it's a hydraulic engagement for the PTO. And if it does not have the full pressure or a good amount of pressure, it will kick out to not destroy the PTO or hurt it. As there is clutch packs in there. And if you do not have the full lockup power, if they're not fully locked up, they'll start to slip and destroy the, the mesh material. Anyways, so this is the lever. You have to pull it out a little bit and then forward. When the tractor's on, it would stay forward because there's hydraulic pressure to keep it engaged. Well, it was not working. And it actually ended up being a very simple thing so far. The uh, That is the linkage for the PTO. And that little C-clip. Hold on. That little C-clip had popped off and the linkage had popped off. So... We got that back on, it's working, we're gonna go test it, but I think that that's all that may be the problem. So that would be really cool um, and really good. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go hook it up to something and test it to see and make sure it's working good. And also they said the, they said the hydraulic remotes, they're having problems that when it gets hot, they're saying when it gets hot, they are losing pressure. And that very well may be the case, but, Something that was interesting. There's, uh, there's, these are flow controls. Now these are not pressure controls. These are flow controls. But the one was turned down all the way to turtle. So there's, a, there's a rabbit and a turtle. The one was turned all the way down to turtle. And I'm assuming when it's turned down that low, that it very well may be, you very well may be losing pressure as well. So we're gonna turn these up to rabbit and we're gonna try the hydraulics as well and we'll see, uh, see what we find. Since we got one of our internationals in the shop as well, I'm gonna kind of talk and show the differences between a John Deere and an international. Now, something to keep in mind, an international of this era, which there's not even international anymore, now would be Case IH, would probably have similar things to this tractor. So more so the difference between a newer John Deere and an older International. But John Deere was the first one to pioneer closed center hydraulics. What it is is when, the, when you're not calling for pressure, the pump kind of shuts down or does not pump a lot of pressure or flow. And what that does is it makes it so that you don't heat up your oil as much. Because on an International... They have what's called an open center system and there's constant flow. I'll talk about that more in a second. Um, but again, when you're running something that's hydraulic, most of the time it's not a, it's not a constant 100% demand or load. 
And so when you're when you don't need that load on a closed center system, which this John Deere has, the pump kind of shuts down and allows you know the oil to not be just keep working and working and and being moved, and it can cool down. And then this tractor has what is called open center hydraulics. So basically, the pump is constantly circulating flow, oil flow. And then when you call for pressure, there is a pressure relief valve that builds your pressure that kind of like stops the, the flow to build pressure when you need it. The problem with that is if you have a high demand hydraulic system, there's never a break because the oil is constantly being flowed and then it's also constantly being pressurized. And it just does not get a break like an open center system, which allows the oil to uh, really heat up and it's hard on the oil and components. And back to what I mentioned earlier, even, even the John Deere's of this era, the 60s Deere's, 4010s, 4020s, 40, well, they didn't have a 4030, 4040, 42. 30, um, all of those era of Deers had closed center hydraulics, and those were your, your John Deers in your late 60s and early 70s. Uh, John Deere was very early on pioneering a good hydraulic system that work, worked fairly well. It, it had its problems, and we've worked on a lot of them, but uh, closed center hydraulic system is a very good hydraulic system, which is what that tractor over there has.